Hey guys, what's going on? So if you're here, you're probably having an issue with your SharkBite RX 5.1 getting an image from your Runcam Nano HD camera or maybe another SharkBite camera. I'm gonna show you how to solve this very specific problem that I'm having. The bottom line is that you need to update your firmware in your SharkBite RX 5.1 as well as the transmitter. But let me go into the specifics of the exact problem that I have. So I powered on the SharkBite receiver and then I would power on the transmitter and the RX 5.1 would go into a search mode to find and lock in the channel that I was on. And when it would switch to it, unfortunately, I would just get a pixelated mess of a signal and it would come in and freeze and come in and freeze just like this and that's the only thing I got no matter what I tried to do. I tried changing the channels, it didn't make any difference. So now as far as I could tell, there was nothing wrong with the connectivity with the camera to the board. I checked and one way to know whether you have a camera connectivity problem is to see if the blue LED lights up on the TX5S.1. And if you get a solid red LED and a solid blue LED, that means your camera connection should be good to go that it didn't or didn't detect that there was any problem with your MEPI connector. So I really didn't know what else the problem could be since there was no indicator from the board itself and there was no indicator in the SharkBite uh, system itself that there was any kind of firmware mismatch but indeed that was the problem because once I updated the firmware the picture came back so if you don't know how to update the firmware I'm gonna go over that real quick briefly right now it's not hard to update the firmware to resolve a pixelated camera problem with no image you're gonna need a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. It needs to be formatted to FAT32. It's much easier if you just use a 32 gig card. So you're gonna go to the SharkBite website and you're going to download the firmware. I have the link in the description below. You're gonna download the firmware, unzip it, put it on the root of the card, and then plug in the card power up the shark bite and it should just go into an update mode make sure you have a fully charged battery when you do this it took me a good 10 minutes to update the firmware on the shark bite uh, receiver module and then once that's done you should be good to go ahead and update the shark bite transmitter board now your board should have come with this cable you plug it in to this port on the board and then you're going to plug the cable in to the SharkBite goggles. You're going to want to take this card and again go on the SharkBite website, download the firmware for this receiver. This one is again the TX5S.1 200 millibot board. Put the, put the firmware files on the root of the card. Then you're going to plug it in and start the video receiver up. And it should, pre, it should write it pretty quickly. Please don't power this up without some kind of fan or cooling. I use this little uh, portable fan to keep this thing cool while it's on the bench. And I would recommend doing that during the firmware update process. Even if it's quick, you really just don't wanna leave this thing plugged in for very long because it gets hot and you don't wanna damage it. Also, do not forget to connect an antenna. You don't definitely don't wanna do that either because you will just kill it. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. I know maybe this video was kind of obvious to some people, update the firmware, but here's the thing. I set it up, I was having this issue, and I thought that maybe I had a connectivity problem or that maybe the board was defective because it was getting, clearly it was getting a signal from the transmitter to the SharkBite receiver, but I just wasn't getting any image from the camera. And unfortunately, there's nothing that really tells you in the SharkBite software that there's a firmware mismatch. You just end up with a pixelated camera connection. So hopefully maybe this video helps save you some troubleshooting time, and quickly demystifies the problem. That That's all. It was a relief when I finally figured this out and realized that the uh, receiver was not broken and that my board was not broken as well. So 
good luck and let me know if you guys have any questions i'd be happy to help leave me a message down in the comments below and for more drone videos and shark bite content please subscribe and hit the bell thanks guys you have a great day and uh i'm gonna go do some flying you guys take care